Hello and welcome to Polypop. Today we will be talking about a very, very small portion of the relationships that occur in the TV show How I Met Your Mother. There are nine goddamned seasons of this show, and it's mostly about the love lives of the characters. If I wanted to, and don't tempt me because I've thought about it, I could spend hours upon hours just reviewing each of the romances that happen in this show. Because of the sheer scope, I am going to limit this review to mostly the end results of the show and apparently season 5 episode 2, so be prepared for season 9 spoilers. That's happening. But anyways, what would have happened in the love lives of each of the main characters if polyamory were an option? Ah uh, yes, the couple that met on orientation weekend of college and has been together ever since. These two have only ever slept with each other, and for the most part they're doing okay. They really do exemplify everything that makes long-term monogamous relationships seem worthwhile. At the same time, they also exemplify all of the struggles that come with remaining monogamous. Marshall is so inherently monogamous that he cannot have a fantasy about someone other than Lily without including Lily's tragically early demise in the plot of his fantasy. I will never love again. No, Marshall, you must. <laughs> and after an appropriate number of years, you should find someone else. Someone like that busty delivery girl from that one time. And plow her like a cornfield. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, monogamy is giving people reasons to wish that their loved ones were dead. It's played off as a silly, ridiculous joke here, but isn't it kind of a logical conclusion? Under ideal monogamy, either you are with one person for the rest of your life, or you are widowed. Hell, just look at my last episode with King Henry VIII. He literally killed wives off so that he could marry new ones. Also, think about it. How many stories have you heard of where someone murders their partner so that they can be with someone else? Or conversely, murders their partner because they found out that they had cheated on them. Give me monogamy or give me death is a shockingly common idea when you think about it. And no one seems to be thinking about it. I'm gonna move on for now, but we're coming back to this idea later. But in the meantime... Ted always wanted a family and domestic life. Robin always wanted a career and to travel. And she also fucking hated kids. If monogamy weren't the expected norm, maybe Ted and Tracy could have gotten married and had the family life, and Robin and Barney could have gotten married and had the adventure and the travel together. But whenever Ted and Robin were in the same city, maybe they could have also spent their lives acknowledging that they have chemistry and connection together. Victoria left Ted because she sensed that he was still in love with Robin. Why wouldn't Tracy do the same thing? If your answer is that it's because Tracy was the real true love, then great, you're a natural monogamist. Still, we have nine seasons of TV proving to us that Ted and Robin have something real. And while they both might have something realer with other people, the creators of the show were not able to give us a story in which they moved on from each other and forgot about any connection that they ever had. First of all, fuck everything about Robin and Barney's divorce. It was 2014 when this finale aired, and we got a story about a couple that couldn't make it because the wife had a job outside of the kitchen? Are you fucking kidding me? The only reason this plot was written was because the writers wanted to get Robin and Ted back together, and because monogamy is a thing, they had to dispose of Barney first. I do not believe that the reasons for the divorce match the characters' personalities at all. But for the sake of argument, I'll pretend I do for just one second. If Robin and Barney hadn't fallen into the trap of traditional, socially expected monogamy, they could have just let their relationship be whatever it was going to be. If Barney didn't like traveling with Robin while she was on the job, he could have stayed home and they could have caught up whenever she was back at home with him. Robin wouldn't have had to change her life for Barney, Barney wouldn't have had to change his life for her, and they wouldn't have had to deal with the heartbreak of being apart either. 
Ted and Barney are extremely different people. And clearly, they both appeal to different aspects of Robin. How does it make sense to say that Robin has to choose one side of herself to indulge and to squash the other? Under monogamy, Robin has to give up on a large piece of her personality to make her marriage work. We have nine seasons of TV showing us how great Robin is with both of these men, so we know damn well that the loss of either one is going to hit her hard. Sure enough, by the end of the show, that is exactly what has happened. The show would have had a lot less jokes, but what if Barney was up front with girls and told them that he was only interested in one-night stands? It's not like there aren't women who are interested in that sort of thing, and it's kind of alarming at how little the show seems to believe that. Others have done the full examination of the sexism in this show ad nauseum, so I don't need to do it myself. But suffice it to say, wouldn't Barney have been much less of an awful person if he told girls up front that he was only interested for a night? How is that not a better option than what happens instead? Finally! After nearly a decade, Ted has found true love. And I think he has less than a decade with her before she gets hit by the cancer bus. On one hand, it's true that tragedies happen. So as much as I want to rage against the creators of this show for being so callously cruel, it's realistic, so I give them a pass. Except for why did they choose this plot twist? Because they wanted to get Ted and Robin back together for the third act, and under monogamy, they had to dispose of Barney and Tracy first. The writers of this show literally resorted to sexism and cancer so they could get the happy ending that they were dreaming of. Also, remember that thing I was saying about monogamy or death? Marshall's fantasy with Lily's tragic demise was played off as a joke. But oh my god, the writers just ended this show with that exact plot happening in Ted's life. If polyamory were an acceptable option, the writers wouldn't have had to say that Robin and Barney's marriage failed because Robin had a career, and they wouldn't have had to fucking kill the mother of two young children. In the episode, How Your Mother Met Me, we learn that the mother, Tracy, was in love once before. On her 21st birthday, her boyfriend, Max, died suddenly. Tracy spent a number of years completely heartbroken, and rightfully so. Losing someone you love is not supposed to be easy. She spends years staying single because she cannot imagine falling in love with someone else while she's still in love with the man she lost. I don't plan on making a habit of discussing the theory of polyamory on this show, but right now I have something to say. How dare society tell anyone who has lost a loved one that they either have to stop loving them, or they'll never love again. Well, I'm sorry to hear your husband died, but if you ever love again, you'll be disrespecting his memory. Fuck all of that. Cancer happens. Car accidents happen. And it is sick that society tells widows and widowers everywhere that if their spouse is gone, they can never be happy again. Go ahead. Stay in love with the person you lost until the day you die. But also remember that you have one life to live, and don't waste it hiding from love and connection with others. Look, I've, I've got a situation here. I think that I have been holding myself back from falling in love again. And I think it's because I can't let you go. But you're not here anymore. So I have to ask this. Would it be okay if I moved on? Look at that. Tracy has been lonely and heartbroken for seven years, and she still feels guilty for daring to consider being happy again. This is insane! Losing someone you love sucks enough without being told that you aren't allowed to expand your support network. I can see how monogamy could be the right choice for many people, Polyamory is not for everyone, that's fine. But I see nothing good about telling someone that if the love of their life dies young, they're shit out of luck. According to monogamy, true love means either staying with just one person until you are old and gray, skipping everyone else that you might feel a connection with, 
or losing your loved one early. I don't know about you, but neither of those options appeal to me. And whether society realizes it or not, I don't think that appeals to a lot of people either. Lily and Marshall struggle with remaining faithful to each other their entire lives through, skipping opportunities with other people that arise. And while they make it work, they do make sacrifices. Ted gets saddled with the other option, losing a loved one early. In my perfect world, Robin and Barney would have stayed together, making the most out of traveling the world and being in love. Tracy and Ted would have grown old raising their children together, and Robin and Ted would have never had to lie to themselves or anyone else about the connection they so obviously have with each other. Also, just think about how much fun it would have been to watch Lily and Marshall giggle to each other when talking about how their dates with other people went the night before. I can't be the only one that wants to see that. Only the good die young.